guys, Sherry here from Plants for All Seasons. I uh, just noticed uh, in a yard in my neighborhood that there are sod webworms and that's what we've been seeing a lot in the nursery in the past few weeks. Uh, so if you come out to your yard and you see this happening, a lot of times this time of year people think brown patch and it's not brown patch this year, it's sod webworms. These are the little culprits. So on my arm right here we did some digging in the grass. The little caterpillar right here does the damage. The moth laid the eggs and this is the pupa stage. It was really hard finding these guys digging through the soil. The moths, when you hit the soil, a lot of times if you have an active infestation, you can see them flying up. I am not seeing a lot of moths because we've been walking through the grass trying to find these guys. Uh, but the little moth guy will lay the eggs sod webworms come out. In the early morning, if you go out, you'll see a slight webbing on the, on the grass and you kind of know, okay, it's not brown patch, it's sod webworm. There's some webbing here. I don't know if it'll show up in the video. Good news is this doesn't completely kill your grass. It makes it look terrible going into the fall, but I would run to the nursery as soon as possible and get an insecticide. They're super easy to kill with an insecticide. Um, we recommend uh, several different products um, if you just stop by the nursery. Show us some pictures. Uh, you can respond on here and we'll kind of identify it for you if you're having issues in your yard. But there's always somebody at the nursery that can help you. So just let you know that's, that's what's going on. This little booger right here is doing all the damage. He doesn't look like much, but they, they travel in, in large groups and they kind of all eat at the same time. If we look on the actual blades of the grass, you can see as they're babies, they just kind of get the chlorophyll out. As they get bigger, their mouth parts get bigger, they start really mowing the grass down. I mean, they start taking big bites out. So you kind of have this look of stunted grass typical of what we have with brown patch so we really need this time of year we really need to get a good di diagnosis and make sure that we're not putting fungicide on an insect problem or vice versa uh, and that's where we come into play that's where we'd love to help you fix the problem um, so hopefully this isn't happening in your yards but in the cypress tomball you know um, uh, Klein spring area we're seeing a ton of it we drove through four neighborhoods today and it's just yard after yard after yard we're just seeing damage uh, from these little guys so we need to get them under control before you know we go into the fall and you have big bare spots in the yard and then that just welcomes weeds in so that's the a number one reason for treating it we can walk over here i brought some products um to do this little video Moths, yeah. Look at my feet, and you can see little moths popping up as we're going by. But as far as things that treat, like I said, they're really pretty easy to treat. Um, anything like these guys here will take care of them. So we have systemic insecticide, Captain Jack's dead bug brew, which is spinosad, Monterey a BT, which is Bacillus thuringiensis, um, and then high yield 38, which is a 38 percent permethrin. All of these will do a number of different insects. Um, and then you can also do your Bifin LP. I really prefer to use a liquid for these guys just because it's contact kill and you'll get them really quick. Um, but if you would rather just put something in a spreader and go, you could go with the Bifin LP. Awesome. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> 